Do you meditate, John? I used to meditate a lot. Now I'm more big into visualization. When did you used to meditate? Um, right around 2000, around 2010, 2011, um, I went through this huge spiritual thing where I, um, I became obsessed with um, the power of the mind. And um, I got into it deep, like really deep, just um, meditation, visualization, and just realizing how powerful our minds actually are, like how we really do paint our world with our thoughts and, and our level of self-belief. And so um, right around 2010, um, I, I just took myself to this different mental level where I took myself from being an average Joe kind of, you probably hate average Joe, huh? Doesn't bother me. Uh, <laughs> I took myself, <laughs> <laughs> you're like, what's, about, I'm so what's average about? <laughs> I'm so used to that name. Uh, it's such a goofy name. It's good. It's like a blank, it's like cardboard. Yeah. It's like there's nothing to it. Yeah. So I took myself from being very uh, average minded to actually believing that I was the shit and believing that I could be the shit and that I could be the goat and be the greatest and never lose and to, like I took myself to a different place mentally and a lot of it came from um, mental practice and, and meditation and visualization and just seeking knowledge from people who are strong believers, guys like uh, um, Les Brown and Tony Robbins and guys like that I just became really obsessed with just learning about the, the power of the mind. So I used to meditate. Uh, now I just kind of, I have a lot of things that I've, that stuck with me, a lot of ways of believing that stuck with me that just subconsciously I know uh, who I am, what I'm capable of, and how I believe, and how powerful my mind actually is. I'm a firm believer in meditation because I believe that human beings can get caught up, uh, especially someone involved in a very difficult endeavor like you are. You can get caught up in the momentum of your life, and sometimes, it's very hard to reset. It's very hard to, to separate yourself from it and get a, a balanced and as much as you can objective perspective. And I think one of the best ways to do that is to take time where you sit and you close your eyes and you do nothing and just concentrate on your breathing and just, just set it all aside and extract yourself, extract your consciousness from the momentum of your life. And I think a lot of people don't do that and they get caught up in this hurricane of existence right. where everything is just constantly going on. Your phone won't stop ringing. There's fucking people knocking at your door. You got this going on, that going on. You got to go catch this flight and oh shit, you got a fight coming up and oh shit, you got this and that. And, and sometimes you lose yourself. Yeah, You lose yourself in that wave of life. I, I definitely lost myself at one point in my life. Um, and I feel like right now I'm at this position where... I am I am myself and I can see John Bones Jones and I'm like I can I can like look at my career from a fan perspective. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um and actually make fun of myself, like, damn, you are a fucking idiot. <laughs> like, <laughs> like what have you done? Like, you know what I mean? Like um I, I have a I have a good way of detaching something inside of me and 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 seeing what's happening and okay oh no it's not over all you got to do is just do this do that do that and you get what i'm saying yeah um so i'm not i don't i'm not necessarily meditating these days but i do have the capability of taking away who i actually am at this point and realizing that this is just a, a part of me or this is just a situation in my life this isn't my actual life this isn't my this isn't my final destination. This is just a, a small moment in time that I'm going through right now. You get what I'm saying? Right. I get what you're saying. So, um, so that that's my form of meditation. I, I step away from terrible situations and look and look at myself as if it's the future, and I'm looking back on what's happened to me or what's happening, and I say, okay, how can I get myself out of this? How can I make this better? What do I need to do to turn this around? What do I? You get what I'm saying? Right. Instead no, I do of get what you're saying. Instead of being completely emerged in the moment and thinking that, oh, I can't get out of it, like, you know. I, so. No, I said